started with actual experiences and you know God was very good to me because I you may um, may have heard me talk I've ha- I'm a bit of a skeptic I ask a lot of questions I prayed that crazy prayer as a young woman I said God speak to me and um, I want to hear your voice but if you do speak to me can you just make it really clear you know none of that fuzzy <laughs> stuff and if you make it clear I'll do what you say and so it's been interesting hearing God's voice in dreams and visions because God has showed very clearly that it's from God. And so I would see something in a dream and then it would happen or I would I would see a scene in a dream and then I would go to church that day and suddenly the preacher would start talking about a scene exactly as I had seen. And God's going, hello, it's me. It's okay, it's legitimate. And then I would go back to the Bible and I would make the connections there. And God very gently by his Holy Spirit showed me how God sounded. Then, of course, that led me into reading what I could that was already available, but then in the PhD going a little bit deeper and and understanding that when the Holy Spirit speaks in dreams and visions, it's going to sound like Jesus and that Jesus sets the boundaries. That doesn't mean that, you know, it's always Jesus speaking in a dream. What we see is the Holy Spirit takes the message and then demonstrates it, expresses it in the language that we understand in the visual symbols and the imagery that we're familiar with. So dreams and visions will always be suited to the person who's receiving the message. And that's where the uniqueness and the cleverness of God's communication comes in. 